Hey, what's up, guys? I am Kohak here. It's your boy. <laughs> uh, coming to you with a quick tutorial on Forza Horizon 4, how to enable HDR. If you don't know what that is, well, you probably are here anyway uh, on this video because you want to see what that is all about and how to enable it. I'm using a PC, of course, on uh, Xbox One. You know, the diff there's a little bit different uh, way to do it, but you also still need an HDR TV not just your stupid uh, display and then you think your display can do HDR because some idiot told you on the internet. But you need an HDR display. Anyway, first thing you want to do is right click your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel and uh, see what happened, what's going on here. So I, I have uh, lowered my resolution to 1080p for today so that you can see my, what I'm doing. <clears throat> and you want to check your default color set. Normally you can do default color settings but you can mess around with this as well if you want. 8-bit uh, color depth with dithering is okay. Uh, you can do YCBCR. Uh, the f highest quality is 444, but you no, know, not a lot of monitors, monitors can do that. I just use with default, go with default color settings. I close that. That wasn't really that helpful at all. But you want to check that first if you're having trouble. Go to display settings now on Windows, and you want to have this little switch right here. Apparently, this is disabled for me which will really mess up my capture here for one second. There you go. So I just I enabled uh, HDR and WCG. Now HDR and WCG is something that is uh, built into Windows now. You want to go through those and uh, you want to change the brightness for SDR content if you want to do that. I think I got it on 60. And you actually should also check if you click this area right here what it tells you. Uh, it tells you I have 8-bit uh, with dithering RGB color format and my color space is high dynamic range. So that's all the stuff that is like, you know, uh, checking your checking your display if it's working, checking your HDMI cable if it's working. You do need a slightly better HDMI cable. Your, your regular HDMI cable might still work. Um, but to be safe, you know, if it doesn't work... Um, try a different HDR ca <laughs> HDMI cable that you own, right? Now, launching Forza 4, pretty easy. Uh, just remember that there should be no like MSI Afterburner right here. You know, Microsoft hates that stuff. And my webcam just died again because it's a baby bee boo. All right, let me deactivate. We we have time. We have to wait for for it to load anyway. All righty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this is just, hopefully this is an okay tutorial for you guys to watch. This is just a one-shot recording. It's just a simple way to, it's just a simple little HDR option anyway. Um, so, let's wait for this guy to load. <laughs> Normally I run this in 4K, but for you guys it's 1080p. Alright, so we're in the menus here. Forza Horizon 4. <clears throat> this is how you enable HDR on Forza Horizon 4. It's kind of weird. So let's go to options and go to video, right? So what's going on here? Normally this would be off, right? So let's leave it off. Um, so as you can see, we have resolution, frame rate, blah, 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 blah. Where's HDR? Where is HDR? You can't, this has, you know, this has the uh, information about your render quality, resolution, frame rate, blah, blah, blah. Where's HDR? It's actually this hidden title right here, the hidden setting right here. Doesn't say HDR. Doesn't say anything. It's a mystery. I, when I first saw this, it was a complete mystery to me and it, until I enabled it and messed around with it. So this option right here that is blank is HDR and it's off. So turn that on and then say accept and nothing will seem uh, it seems like completely normal to uh, right now except for you guys because to you guys it's completely blown out because it's on the capture i'm sorry about that but to me i see this perfectly fine all right and then the next option which i will read for you is hdr settings and you go into that and you uh turn your white point higher or lower it will be brighter for you. It will be perfectly fine for me. So my white point is 600 because this TV has a 600 nit display. Um, but I will lower it for you and my HDR brightness I will lower for you so you can see a little bit better. Um, so my white point is 600. My brightness is 60. Um, and those are the numbers that I use. But your TV will be different. That's why those sliders are there. 
okay so i will lower my white point because these are uh, this will be depending on your tv like i said uh, my tv has a 600 plus nit uh, display and the brightness is you know th th that's just you know uh the, how how dark your display can go while you, while also still showing detail all right so this tv can go about oh about si i want i wanted to go 60 there we are still showing detail otherwise no more de no more detail can be shown so uh, just a little bit of tutorial what how what the heck hdr does anyway that's uh that's how to do it I'll, I'll go back to the menus here which you can read right now because i lowered all the hdr settings and my webcam just died again ah c270 i don't know what's going on with you but it's just it's kind of you're crying a crap right now all right so hdr settings is on i lowered all the settings so you can read the menus for uh while here so like as you might have noticed oh sorry so you might have noticed hdr does that hdr sort of increases the dynamic range visible to the eye uh, and makes it you know makes gives you more of the brighter side and the la the darker side of of the color gamut um which isn't technically captured by my capture software right so it won't be captured by my captured software because i'm not recording this video in hdr uh, but on your tv depending on what kind of tv you're using as long as it's you know hdr capable and it's got enough brightness it's got enough you know uh lower end darkness as well then you'll be able to see a little bit a, be a decent amount of difference when it comes to brighter brighter scenarios and darker scenarios even here even now when i lower after i lowered my settings i can definitely tell a difference uh between this and standard definition uh standard <laughs> standard color definition i don't know standard dynamic range sorry it's kind of a mouthful there so uh that's there you go that's how you enable uh the hdr option on pc with forza horizon 4 sorry i'm just rambling right now uh, but there you go. Hope that helps and see you guys next time. I'll try to make a, a tutorial on how to make the 2 million points on this car, which is the, I think, I don't, feel, car? Eh, anyway. That car. So, see you next time. Bye.